Bright Ideas is a very innovative project and it enables service users and their carers to try something new, to see how it is they can improve the service. And actually what we want to get out of it is that co-production where we have a member of staff working very closely with a carer or service user, understanding how the service can be made better, and to develop a project which promotes hope, encourages recovery. People who have autism have uh, significant sensory uh, challenges and difficulties. And the evidence suggests that if you find the right piece of kit for that person, their, their distress reduces really. So the idea was to create a literal library of things that we can lend to people and then uh, they can just try them on for size really. BSL Space um, is a web page where we have over about 40 pages of information in English that's been translated into lots of different sign language clips. Um, as part of our kind of day-to-day -day work we meet deaf people who really struggle to access any information in English, it's very much a second language. In the 21st century, so we had to make sure the deaf people were aware of what was out there, what's out there for the deaf community. There are a quarter of a million young carers in the UK, and only 1% of those are registered as young carer with their GPs. The, the purpose would be to, to reach as many young people as possible, having a rucksack that has um, not only leaflets about local services, but also things that can be fun that they can do with their parent or um, with a carer or, or anybody to really start a conversation. And because I'd always been interested in creative writing, I think I thought it would be a good combination to, to tackle boredom at the same time as giving people the opportunity to say something or write something about themselves you know, that as you start to recover, you want to start doing things. It gives people a chance to come down and have some quiet space, come off the ward, think about what helps them to recover. Managing somebody's recovery is about a relationship because outcomes for the client are much, much better when you have a trusting relationship and, and how much trust do you have dangling on the end of a rope? You know, either being a staff member at the bottom belaying or actually being a staff member up the wall when you have a service user that actually belaying because that says something about the power, doesn't it? Which I think is shared. So it's a real collaborative approach right from the start then? Well, isn't recovery. You know, so I, I can't see that it, it what we works any other way. Because if we get better service user involvement in designing the things that help them to have uh, hope and help them to recover, then you have a marvellous project.